Okay, so the um, the front's dried off a bit now, and I thought I'd have a go at working on the top. So um, I did, as you can see, there was a few knocks and scratches. So I did put some filler in. So just with some very fine sandpaper, I'm just gonna make sure that's all sanded down nicely. There were a couple of holes in the top as well where the dresser top went, so I filled those in. Just give it a quick rub over. I think the top will take quite a few coats because I can still feel there's quite a lot of uh, open grain on the top. In fact, I probably should have given it more of a sand down, but I don't really want to get loads of dust everywhere now. So, we'll see how we go. I was originally going to um, do the top dark blue, but the more I've thought about it, I'm going to do it um, ombre, um, like a vignette basically. So I think I'll start with the lighter colour which I ended up with and go into a darker in the middle. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Make sure there's no roughness on the top here. Uh, just got some wet cloth. And I think I'm definitely going to be putting some gold leaf on as well. Um, the front, I love the front, but it still looks a bit plain. So um, I'm going to break out my stencils and see what I think. Okay, right. Let's just dry that off. Still a little bit, might need a bit more filler in that hole there, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going to start with the lighter colour this time, which is the colour we've already got on the edge here. So, let's see how we go. This paint is so lovely and creamy, it goes on so nicely. Like I say, the top will need a few coats, I think. But because it dries quite quickly, it's quite good. So this time instead of going graduating in strips I'm going to go all around the edge then come in a bit with the next colour ending up with the darker colour in the middle. Just be careful, um, try not to splash the, the front and the sides when you, you're doing this. Bit. I probably won't worry too much about the ombre, uh, the vignette on the very first coat. It's just a case of getting the colour down. It 
so nice to see the difference you can make to a piece of furniture just with a bit of paint pretty cheaply and that's the other thing as well with you with your paint the likes of the chalk paint it go you hardly need any it goes on forever lasts for such a long time because you're using such light thin coats You'll be able to see streaks in the first one because it's such a dark colour underneath. But like I say, I'm not that bothered with the first, first one. Okay. Right. Next colour. so I'll see you soon. Okay so while the the top's drying I'm going to have a go at um, stenciling on the side and just see what it turns out like and if I don't like it I can just paint over it again. Um, I've got a damask stencil here it's um, one of my own designs um, and I'm just gonna very randomly Put it put it on um, I'm not going to sort of do it the whole just sort of a, um, a hint of it so on this part here we've got the brave blue going into the teal so probably um, I'll start with the, the t obviously the teal in the, in the brave blue um, and then we'll go into the um, brave blue into the teal I have mixed a um, colour for the bottom part um, because I didn't want the brave blue because I thought it was a bit too bright so I've mixed some of the um, evening elegance with a small amount of the brave blue so I'm hoping that it, it's just enough to um, show up um, if I need to put a bit more brave blue in I can um, I'll just see how it goes so um okay i'm gonna what i want to do i think is just do sort of a um a diagonal really so what what i've done with my um tape is what i do is i put it on my clothes and take off most of the tack so that you don't end off or end up pulling off your paint it is a low tack um tape anyway but I just want to make sure that um, you know it's not going to pull the paint off. Um, um, so what I'm going to use for this stencil is some little foam brushes. That way you're not forcing the paint underneath the stencil. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get the, the lid. So okay so this is the brave blue so I'm going to use the teal colour. So we hardly want any paint at all, hardly anything. Make sure it's worked well into the sponge so that it's not dripping with paint. It's, it's hardly anything at all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it flat and we're just gonna do light presses over the ones that we 
actually want. Like I say, I'm just trying to get a, a hint of the design. I'm not looking for it to be perfect. You're always best, anything to do with paint. Never, never try perfection because you'll never ever get it and you'll just end up getting really upset. <laughs> okay, so. Obviously, if we carry on using this colour, you, you're not going to be able to see it. So once I do this bit here, I'll change to the darker colour. Okay. I think I put another one there. Like I say, that one little bit of paint's gone a really long way. You really don't want a lot of paint on your brush, on your um, sponge. Otherwise, it's going to seep underneath the stencil. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, because I've got it taped, I can lift it up and see. Yeah, I think I'll just put a bit more here as well. A bit more paint. Okay. Let's have a couple. Like I say, this is quite a, a chunky piece of furniture. It's not at all refined or elegant. So I don't feel like um, I can do too much to it. Okay, can you see that? So you've just got the hint now. And, and what I'll probably do once it's dry is I'll also give it a sound so it, it knocks it back into the background even more. So just check on the back of your stencil that there's no obvious paint coming through. Sometimes I just wipe the back of it on my clothes, whatever I've got on at the time. Okay, so now I'm going to move the stencil up. Um, I could actually line it up with that one if I wanted to. So I might do that and then the, the pattern's going to follow on then. It just happens to fit in quite nicely. Okay, so remembering that once we get to this point, you're not gonna you're not gonna see this colour, um, but we can do a tiny bit more. So let's let's put some more of that colour on. Okay, I've gone a bit close to the edge there. Right, so um, some of these. So we're now coming into the lighter colour. So I'll just put a teensy bit of the um, the the brave blue on now. I'll just put a little bit on my brush, so it's actually mixing in with the other colour. So when we come up here, oops, so I've got a lot of paint on there. A lot of paint. Let's get rid of some of it. When we come up here, it is actually going to show up. hard to see in this light but you can actually you can actually see that there that's uh do we need to do any anywhere else let's 
just do a little bit in this corner here Maybe a little bit of the light again in this corner. Just be careful because that paint's wet there, so you don't want to um, smudge it. So we've got a, a little staggered pattern going on there. So what I'm going to do is just check that there's nothing on the back of the stencil. Um, you're best if you've got a flat surface so that you can just make sure. Never rub your stencils, especially when they've got so many small bits because you'll end up just breaking the bits, the little segments off. Right, so I'm going to lower the cam camera down a little bit. Okay, so basically, I think probably, should we do it's a bit of fluff there? Probably the same. I mean, you're not really going to see the side, but uh, that's why I'm I'm practicing on the side first. Um, I've got a different um, brush for this one, and as I say, I've mixed mixed this colour. It might not quite be light enough, so I'll just try it out first and see. Like I say, make sure you scrape as much of the paint off as possible because you don't want it thick. Just dab it on there as well. Let's just see if we can see it first. So I'm going to come down to the bottom one here. Okay, so, oops, so we can carry on. I can, I can see it okay, but it's just slightly darker than the, you know, this light colour. It was just a bit too light for me. I didn't want it to show up that much. Sorry, my camera keeps switching off without telling me. Um, right, so um, I'm quite happy with that bit there. Um, I might just, if I swing the camera back up again, yeah, I think I'll just put a little bit more there because it's not a great deal going on. Okay. Yeah. 
so um, I quite like that actually it's just enough that it's um, just gives it a bit of interest without it being over the top um, like I say I'll I'll give it a vet once it's dry I'll give it a slight sand down as well to blend it in even more um, and we'll have a look at doing the front so I'll just spin this the front round and I'll be back okay so we're gonna have a, a go at putting some on the drawer fronts as well um, exactly the same process with the same colours um, and also what the stencil will do is it will help to break out up any uneven um, paint that you've got um, so let's get my stencil again just check I'll just give it a wipe over oh, fine. it's meant to wipe it with Just that you don't want any anything any paint seeping through the back of it so okay right let's get a rag to dry it off right so again we're just gonna see how we go with the pattern shall we not there probably okay right so this is the lightest colour so we're going to use this brave uh, brave blue Okay, so I've got my dark colour back again, the one that I mixed, and put that down. Uh, right, so I think, well, I'm just going to go for it. say because it's not a particularly good looking piece of furniture it's quite chunky it's a proper old Welsh dresser uh, chunky one it's um, if you go too refined with it I think it wouldn't look right so let's see yeah I think that's that's enough for the front um, I'll do the other side while this is drying and then we'll come back the top the top's not really quite dry yet um, and then we'll have a look at doing something on the top hi again okay so this is all dry quite nicely now 
I'm really, I really like the effect that I've got there. But what I'm going to do is give it a very light um, sand down just to just knock it back a tiny bit. So hardly, I'm hardly going to press at all. Just making sure that I'm knocking any little bits of grit and just slightly knocking the image that I stenciled. Just going to knock it back slightly. Okay, so as you can see, I've put a coat, one flat coat over. The ombre just didn't look right, I don't think. It, it was okay, but I didn't, it was too fussy for the piece. So I've already done one um, coat. I've given it a little rub down and I'm going to put another flat coat on. So I'll carry on with the uh, coat of paint on the top and then I'll set the camera up again on the front and we'll do a um, varnish coat on the front. Okay so um, I've got here some Rust-Oleum furniture lacquer and it's specially for chalk paint. Again I've never used this before so um, I'm hoping that it's going to be nice. Now it's the clear matte. I don't like um, shiny glossy furniture. Um, so I got the matte, matte one. So we'll see. I'm going to put it on with a flat brush. This isn't particularly soft, this brush. So if I end up with lined um, paint, um, paintbrush lines, I'll uh, give it a quick sand down in between, well, I'll, I'll probably sand it down in between coats anyway, um, you, you get a much better finish if you do that. So I'm going to give it a light coat, it's actually white when you, uh, which was a shock, <laughs> um, so I may, should I take the drawers out? I'll see how I go. Um, I'll, I'll start with the doors anyway. So it does say that if it's a light colour, the furniture, this particular product does make it slightly darker. But this is fairly dark anyway. So this is the little panel that's really got a heavy grain on it so I'm gonna make sure I work it into that grain it is still quite cold in here today we had another bout of cold snowy weather so um, it's lovely today it's nice and hot but it's cold down here because obviously it doesn't get any sun and it does say the best results use between 10 and 30 degrees so I think I haven't I haven't uh, I have no idea what the temperature is down here but it is fairly cold hopefully it will be 10 degrees Just be careful you don't get any little runs in the corners or build up.
this bit here with all these dents is a bit awkward so I'm just going to bring in a smaller round brush just to go and in, get into there just being careful that you're not going to end up with a thick gloopy mess at the bottom there because you don't want any drips coming out of it Okay, so I'm going to finish doing the whole front and then the sides um, and in fact apart from doing the top that's just about it so what I'll do is I'll come back when it's finished and uh, when the varnishing's finished and it's all dry and um, show you what it turned out like I hope you've enjoyed um, watching the video and if you have please subscribe um, so you keep up to date with the next project and uh, hit the like button and we'll see you very soon thanks for watching <laughs>